chunk that you talk about how important this is for a team to win because you're down by 10 at halftime and then you come back with that kind of effort to win against a really good team. Uh, man, it was great. It was a great team win. We made adjustments at halftime. And uh, that's the, the beauty about the scene. You know, we fight 60 minutes. Uh, we learned from, from what we did uh, week one against the Saints. We played, you know, 59 minutes and some change. But uh, after that, last week we played 60 minutes. This week we played 60 minutes. And that's the, the beauty of it. That's the NFL. Every game is going to be tight. Every day, every game is going to be close. Uh, you know, this is a good uh, conference win. Um, and it's a great team on the road. Uh, so uh, this is uh, definitely we can build on this and learn from it. What did you see from that defense, particularly guys like Joey Bosa, Melvin Ingram, guys like that? That defense that kept kind of swarming you the majority of the game. Yeah, they're very disciplined. They uh, know exactly what they wanted to do. They play. They did some good games, um, and and they try to get to the ball as much as they can. You know, try to affect the pressure and the time of it with myself and the receivers uh, downfield. And, and uh, you know, those are two great players that's going to play a long time and, you know, probably Hall of Famer. So it was good to, you know, try to control them as much as we can and, and try to run the ball. Along those lines, your offensive line may have had the best game, especially protecting you. Can you describe how much more comfortable you were in the pocket than yeah, the time you had? Yeah, the offensive line has been great. They've been working the tails off each and every day, uh, blocking out all the noise, continuing to grind. And I continue to have their confidence, you know, and that's what I love about those guys. I do anything about those guys. That's why, you know, I put my heart out and I continue to help those guys out. Uh, whenever they, you know, I do get pressure, get out of situations and, and try to, you know, do things that, you know, is making them comfortable. And I can, you know, see all the work and see all the hard work throughout the week and in the meeting rooms and on the practice field. So uh, I love every single one of those guys and, you know, we're going to continue to grow together and, and uh, make something happen. Sean, can you take us through that second touchdown that you uh, yeah, I just kind of stepped up, got out, out of a little pressure, and I seen eight go right when I was going left, and no one was over there, so I just kind of flipped him off the ball, and he made the play after that, so um, that was pretty much it on that. You make it sound a lot easier than it looked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just, I, know, I was just out there playing ball, having fun, trying to make something happen, and like I said, I was going left, and I just seen him on my peripheral going right, and I just kind of flipped it to him, he caught it, and the rest was all him. Um, and, you know, and that's what they do when they get the ball in their hands. Hey, Deshaun, would you elaborate on the on the conversation you, your offensive squad had coming out of the halftime to kind of get in, in a better rhythm and obviously win the game? Like, yeah, we just basically said, you know, the first half is over. We, you know, myself uh, on that, that first drive, spared them seven points, throwing the ball backwards. It was a screen, and dude got hit on the pressure, and Ashley was supposed to be in front. He was behind me, and I was about to throw it, and it was just all in a speed of motion. Bosa was in front of me, hit my arm, and it went backwards. So, you know, we spread them seven. But outside of that, we just kind of had a fine groove after that. That's um, fine. And, and just continue to, you know, push forward. And, you know, we came out of the second half, and that's what we did.